Hey y'all, I am back with a mini album process and this is my maternity album that I started quite a while ago. I started it about a year ago and of course I never finished it. So since I'm on a roll with finishing Project Life and getting things knocked out and using up my stash, I decided to get right on um, this mini album and finish it up. So this is obviously, I'm not going to be done after this uh, process video. I actually, I'm going to do, I think, Four total pages so you guys will see that entire process I have done some stuff off camera so I may just do a flip through here at the end I'm just using things from my stash and I'm using a gold album that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's a project life album and it's the six by eight I think that's correct it's like this six by eight album I think and some I think it's somewhere around there and the page protectors are the ones that obviously go in there and you can get the Becky Higgins ones or the snap ones because they both fit so I'm using a mixture of those um for this first card this looks like a studio calico card that I got in a kit and I used to subscribe to the Studio Calico Project Life kits. I don't anymore, but um, I still have quite a few cards um, left. And so I decided to pull some that I that will go with this particular spread. I'm not worrying too much about being matchy-matchy and matching the collections and things like that. Because I really just wanted this process of making um, or completing this album just fun and just like really thankless. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm using, I use those. I think those are resist alphas, those letters that say V, um, but I didn't, I just used them as white because I really liked the way those looked. And those have been in my stash for a while. And then I also used Stamp Set by Creative Retreat to spell out nursery and then a little heart from Pseudo Calico. I'm just looking at my stash to see if there's anything else I want to add. And I'm, all, I'm actually at this point, I'm looking for something to add in between V and nursery. Like it's just a word that can, like an adjective that can go in between, but I actually don't find anything because my desk is super unorganized right now, and so I just decided to continue with the process. So I am um, cat. I'm documenting pictures of my husband um, opening the box to my our baby's crib, and then him putting the crib together. And so I was glad that I you know captured some of these moments so that I could document those in her in this little book. Um, I'm also going to document this dresser here that, uh, we had, my mom and I, um, found it at, um, a little store we have here in Waco and, uh, it actually was black on the top and it, the knobs were black, but I, and I, but I liked the color of the actual dresser, which was cream. And so I had my husband, um, redo the knobs and the top and so uh I was documenting that that was done as well and then I think the room is painted at this point too um which that took about um, I don't know like eight different swatches of paint to decide for sure and it was difficult because I remember um being at work and my husband was off and um I don't know why was it during spring break that he did this? It must have been during spring break of last year. And he had sent me a ton of different um, pictures of different colors that he had swatched like on the wall. And I didn't like any of them. And I was like, I'm just gonna have to come home at lunch and figure this out. So thankfully, we have an ACE hardware not too long, not too far from us. And so we decided to um, go there. And I was actually kind of doubting how much paint they had. And then I went and I was like, wow, they actually have a good selection. So I actually found the paint color there and ended up getting like a seafoam mint color. Um, I also used a Heidi swap card that I've had in my stash forever. And it's the one that says hello. And I just added a little pseudo calico chipboard sticker that said the best. And here I'm kind of trying to figure out, like, I really want to add journaling on this card, but I couldn't find a uh, I didn't want to just add white right on top because I do that often. So I found this um, pink grid paper and then I realized, okay, I cut off some of the hearts that looks that looked a little bit weird. And so I decided not to use that. And so I redid it and typed it up again. And then I think I ended up using it after all, which... You know, now that I look at it, I probably could have used white on top of that pink since I matted a piece of pink paper there. So on this car, on this section, I don't know why it's, did I, did it switch? Why did it switch so quick? I don't know. But on this section, I am using um, 
a couple more pictures from the nursery since we're documenting that. And I just snapped the picture on Instagram and I posted that, um, the wall, the little gallery wall that I created. And I'm just using some little puffy stickers that I have for my stash. And I can honestly cannot tell you where, where those are from. And then some little hearts that I've either punched or used, um, dies and then I just simply added the photo on the other side and didn't add anything to it because it didn't need anything for this one I went to my stash and I have these Mombi clear stickers and I just love the way how simple how it kind of looks like I used a little I edited it on Photoshop or something like that and I didn't so I like that those add a little special touch and then I'm going to um add a journaling on the other side by the way too and then lastly, I'm just going to find a car, another card in my stash to, to fill that top left hand one and um, a couple looking through my stickers. At first, I just I think that I want to use this happy sticker, but then I realize it's not going to fit. And so I found this little, I think it's like a little dollhouse and it's from the Wonder Collection and I thought that went perfect. I documented that we had, uh, that I had moved my craft room into the other room in the nursery into my craft room. So um I wanted to get that on paper and then that you know that's pretty much it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into my album I'm just going to kind of like quickly flip through it so you guys can see some of the things that I've done not on camera so that's what you guys saw and then here come some final photos so I hope you guys enjoyed this process and let me know if you have any questions